In this program, we're going to learn about mass. What is mass? Mass is the amount of matter that forms one substance, object, or body. Everything in the universe has mass. The sun has more mass than everything else in our solar system combined. Lava has mass. Sharks have mass. Pollution has mass too. The mass of an object depends on the amount of matter composing it. Everything is made of matter. Matter is anything that takes up space. Therefore, anything that takes up space has mass. The molecules, or matter in any solid object, are dense and grouped closely together. This density is why objects like a baseball are hard and firm. The molecules in a gas, like air, the molecules in a gas, like air, are spaced farther apart. They are not densely packed like they are in a solid. A tennis ball and a baseball are equal in size and shape, but the masses of each object are drastically different. Since the tennis ball is made up of less matter than a baseball, it has less mass. The mass of an object is not the size of an object. Size is only a measurement of an object's dimensions, or how much space an object occupies. Mass is not how much an object weighs. An object has weight as a result of gravity being exerted on its mass. Without gravity, an object would not have weight, but it would still have mass. For example, an object would weigh less on the moon because there is less gravity. However, the same object would have the same amount of mass whether or not the force of gravity were present, the mass would not change. Mass is also a measure of an object's inertia, its resistance to motion. The more mass an object has, the more difficult it is to set that object into motion or to bring that moving object to rest. A passenger train has a lot of mass, which requires more force to set it in motion or to bring a speeding train to a stop. The less mass an object has, the less inertia too. As the mass of an object decreases, so does the resistance that object has to being moved or being stopped. A leaf does not have a lot of mass, which is why it takes less force to set leaves in motion or to bring them to rest. Now that you have a better understanding of mass, think about this. How would your mass be affected if you lived on the planet Venus? Think about it. <laughs>